Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Maximus. This is video eight, and today we're talking about the monitor input. So this is a handy feature in case we want to track down a certain part of our signal that might be just in the left or just in the right, and we want to visually see what's happening. So to show you this, in this uh, Citrus patch I've made, I have operator one, this is a sine wave, and it's down one octave, and it's going to the left channel, and it's going to the output. Number two is going to be a saw wave. It's going to be number two on the ratio, and it's going to be going to the right channel, and it's going to, going to, going to be going to the output. So long story short, we have a sine wave down an octave on the left and a regular saw wave in our right. We can meet the saw wave. We just hear the sine wave and we can meet the sine wave and we just hear the saw wave in our right. So now in Maximus, let's go to this circle over here, this monitor here. And on the drop down menu, we have the section under visualization. This is monitor input. Now we have mid what we were looking at here and we have side, left and right. So mid, let's go ahead and see what's happening here. So we see our signal as normal. Now, if we hold a note, we can see that we have all this signal going here. And if we remove our sine wave, we can tell that this is the fundamental, which is helpful. It's down an octave, so we can differentiate it from the saw wave. And we can also remove our saw wave. And we know this is the fundamental of the saw wave. Now, however, we can go to this drop-down menu here, and this mid is going to be looking at the center stuff, the side is going to be looking at the stereo stuff, and the left and right, you guessed it, looking at the left and looking at just the right. So let's select left for this example, and let's press a note. What do you think will happen? We're just going to be seeing a saw wave, or a sine wave, but we're going to be hearing the sine and the saw. So here we can confirm, even though we're still hearing it and it's still going through Maximus, we're only looking at the left channel, so this way we can track something down if we really need to. And we can mute and bring back the saw wave all day. It's not going to show up on this graph because we're just looking at the left and throwing the right away visually. Now the opposite is also true. If we go to monitor input and go for the right, we're still going to be seeing just the saw wave. We hear the sine wave, but we still don't see it. So that's something that I kind of wanted to point out because it's very helpful in case you see something in the right channel or hear something and you're like, I need to find exactly what that is and correct it. But the left channel is kind of interfering with what's going on and that's a good way to kind of separate the channels and look at them and see what's actually happening overall because if we have extra tools with us that we can see stuff and solve problems with it's definitely good to know that they are there for that reason so yeah that basically wraps up the monitor input it's a very simple thing but i thought i'd mention it in this video in the next ones we're going to start diving through this lock spare state over sample master mid mode ma master mid mode linear phase and then the points to db safety. So yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.